Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you the best way to retouch skin in Photoshop with no steps skipped. And if at all, this is what you have always wanted to learn, simply hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So in order to edit the, this very image, we first of all want to clear or remove the skin imperfections, that is the blemishes in this very photo. So what we are going to be doing, you are simply going to first of all duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl J, or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So create that layer by pressing ctrl j so just come press ctrl j to create that layer and just come and get the patch tool make sure it is in the new selection mode the patch mode is set to normal and source and destination are also right here so after doing that we just want to remove the pimples or blemishes so you have to zoom all the in by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard to zoom into the image and how a patch tool works basically, you circle around the blemish that you want to remove and you drag it to a clean area that is nearby it. So to circle, you simply left click and hold down to circle around the blemish and you drag that blemish to an area that has clean skin, but that area has to be nearby. So that is what you want to do for these blemishes and you have to take your time as you are doing all this because... Blemish remove is going to contribute over 70% to the overall retouching process of this kind of image. And by the end of this tutorial, you are going to be benefiting and learning the best way. And after learning how you can edit such an image, you are going to be more of a pro or professional. And no image is going to be very hard for you to edit regarding skin retouching and frequency separation in general so you're just going to remove these blemishes in this very tutorial and i don't feel like i want to speed up any process because i want you to see everything in real time that we are going to be doing and achieving in this kind of tutorial so bear with me because i don't feel like forwarding anything in this kind of tutorial so i'm just going to circle around all the blemishes in this very image and replace them using the patch tool so you can use whichever tool that you prefer but the patch tool is going to produce more natural looking kind of results so take your time and replace the blemishes by just moving circle and moving around all these imperfections and you can see in this way the skin is going to be smooth and this step is basically preparing the image for the next step that is smoothening of the skin so let's try to clear or clean up the skin in this very step so for a big blemish you can even use a very big selection so that you don't take so much time but as you're removing these big blemishes it tends to create some patches so those patches we have to remove them using a blending tool that is going to be the mixer brush tool and you're going to be removing or cleaning and clearing away these pimples or blemishes or the areas that have those kinds of patches. And for this step, don't mind, you have to zoom all in. So don't be afraid to zoom all in because you now want to clear away or remove all these blemishes and skin imperfections from other skin. So I'm just going to circle around this area and get rid of that dark patch and remove these ones close to her lip, just like that. And you can see the patch tool creates better and close to natural looking kind of results. So I'll do this for the rest of the blemishes. And like I said, bear with me. And if at all you're benefiting from this kind of video, don't forget to support the channel by hitting the like button because we are both going to be benefiting at the end of this tutorial. So just come to the forehead area and also remove all these imperfections. So sometimes when you don't drag well, the patch tool will, will not, or will bring up that kind of warning that you're seeing sometimes on my screen. So I'm just going to be doing this over majority of the blemishes on her skin. And you can see that we are going to be having the best kind of results in this kind of very image. So 
I'm just going to circle around this area and drag it down there to get rid of that line. So for the small pimples, this is what we are going to be doing. So I'm just going to circle around this particular area and drag that to a clean skin. So don't mind if at all we accidentally leave out some blemishes. So I'm just going to use Command minus to zoom out and look at or identify the areas that we may not have cleared well or even better at a distance. So you have to keep on zooming in and zooming out so that you can see or ensure that every blemish has been gotten rid or taken care of. So right now we have removed the blemishes. And let me show you the before and after for removing blemishes before, after, before, after. So after clearing the blemishes, you're just going to come to this very layer and duplicate by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J and double click on this. We're going to name this to color and double click on this layer and we're going to name that to texture. And after we have done that, we are simply going to come to the color layer and select it. Turn off the texture layer, simply come to filter, come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So since this image is a low resolution kind of image, the textures are not very many. So for this point of frequency separation, remember it is the most important step when it comes to editing and smoothening skin when it comes to using frequency separation. So for this point, what we have to do, we click on an area that has more blemishes or more skin textures than the rest of the skin. So this area in the forehead area is a good example or a good sample area. And you're going to left click and drag. So you left click and drag and stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from your image. So at around 3 pixels, that is when we are just starting to close out on the textures on the skin. So for your kind of image, you have to drag and stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear. So you may either have to use a higher value or a lower value than I am using in this kind of video because the textures in the image that you're editing may be different from the textures that we are using in this kind of tutorial. So the point is you drag and stop at the point whereby the textures or the skin details in the photo are just starting to disappear from your image and just come and click OK. So select the texture layer now activated by clicking on the eye icon. Then you are going to come to image, apply image. So the source is the name of uh, the image. Come and select the color layer under layer. The channel has to be RGB. Blending has to be subtract because we are editing an 8-bit image. So the scale is 2. So just type in 2 under scale and the offset 128. Make sure pass is 100%. Preserve transparency and mask are not checked and make sure invert is not turned on. And by the way, make sure that the preview option is also checked to see the effect in real time. And when you do this, you're going to notice that the textures are going to be appearing on this gray layer. So if at all you're having 16 right here, it means your image is going to be a 16-bit image. These are settings you have to do or to use. The color layer is selected, RGB. The blending for a 16-bit image is going to be add. The scale is to offset 0 and simply turn on the invert option and you'll have the same result. So ours is 8-bit, so I'll revert the settings back to 8-bit settings. Click OK. Change this from normal, change the blend mode from normal to linear light. Select both layers and press Ctrl G or you can use Command G on the keyboard to put this in a group. Open up the group for the frequency separation and select the color layer. The reason for selecting the color layer is because we want to blend or smoothen the skin by blending the skin tones while also retaining the textures. So it is the Reason that's why we have separated the image into colors and textures. So right now we have selected the color layer. Come and turn off the texture layer or hide the textures because for this step we only want to deal with the textures or this step we don't want the textures to interfere as you're trying to blend the colors. That is why we have hidden or turned off the textures in this group and we are selected on the color layer. So we just want to blend the skin tones or the colors on the model skin. So we're going to come to the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. So for whichever tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to appear above there. So make sure the settings of the brush, the hardness set to zero, 
soft round brush is selected make sure clean brush is selected and the second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected then a weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 flat of a hundred percent make sure sample oils is not turned on because when you accidentally leave this turned on and you leave this layer activated and you start painting you can notice that the brush is painting back textures in the color layer and that is why you're having that black color so make sure sample all layers is not turned on and turn off the texture layer and after doing that you can reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so the right box bracket keys on the keyboard is going to increase on the size of the brush and the left box bracket key is going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool and if at all or in case the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon make sure that you press the caps lock key on the keyboard or deactivate it so this step is for smoothening or blending the colors in the skin so how do we blend we make sure that the size of the brush is slightly small enough to blend a given color in a given area and also as you're blending make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you do this you can't see the uneven skin tone transition so make sure you are looking at the image from a distance so i'm just going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool so to blend you simply left click and hold down and blend the skin just like that so left click and hold down and blend a given color and after blending that color you release the left click button so to blend on a new color that is different left click once again and blend on a brand new color so that is what we are going to be doing for at the skin of the model and you have to follow the direction or how the skin is moving so as you're doing this you can notice that the skin looks too smooth or too plastic but when you come back and we turn on the texture layer you can see that the textures are still left intact within the model skin so just come and turn this off and start blending or continue blending the colors of the skin just like that so you can see the cheekbone is moving in this direction so even the brush has to move in that direction and by the way you have to keep on increasing or reducing on the size of the mixer brush tool depending on the area you are working on so you mix the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the dark colors alone and while those colors colors are transitioning from one color to another we use a very small brush and blend the border of that area so that is what we're going to be doing for this very image. So I'm just going to come to the nose area. And you can see the nose is moving from up to down. That is why the brush also has to follow that direction. So when it comes to the eye area, you can see I'm following the eye area or the shadow area of the eye. So I'm just going to blend on the forehead area just like that. Just like that. And you can see the skin is going to be blended and you're going to be having... A smooth looking kind of skin tone so i increase on the size and by the way as i'm doing all this you can see that i'm not zooming all the way in and the importance of this is it helps us edit the image faster or quickly so i'll just blend right there on the lip area and blend all those uneven tones on the skin so i'll also come the fingers or the hands and try to blend some parts of uh, the knuckles just like that so if at all you're not comfortable using or by turning off this texture layer you can as well work with it turned on so you can see what we have been able to achieve in this or you can even smoothen the lips if at all you wish to so you can see what we have been able to achieve so you can see the before after before after let me zoom in you can see the before after before after before after we have not lost out the initial skin textures for our model in this case so you can see how easy frequency separation is when it comes to skin retouching in photoshop and we have just used the mixer brush tool to blend the transitions between the skin tones so this is going to take so much practice if at all you're a beginner and if at all you want to learn and master how to use the mixer brush tool 
but with time you're going to be perfect and you're going to be doing this very quickly and very fast and you can see the before after before after the skin textures or the details in the skin have not been tampered with and this looks a little bit more natural and realistic so this is how you can easily understand frequency separation as a beginner from the start to the very end and if at all you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating